basically this project came up because Lauren Herbitz and Molly Batten from Corporate Communications approached Turner Studios in helping them create a end of year reel that represented all of Turner. We talked about maybe going around and shooting a bunch of executives and have them talk about all of the successes we've experienced throughout the year. We ultimately decided that we think it would be really cool if we could do a cartoon featuring all the various executives that work globally within our company. Welcome to Turner Town, where we're celebrating the best year in the history of our company. The more we thought about it, we were like, ah, oh, it would be great to do something different. Like, let's do something that's unexpected. When I first heard about this project, the project manager side of me was like, oh my gosh, this is ambitious, and I gotta pull a huge team together now. Early on in the brainstorming sessions, we kind of came up with this idea to take our cues from the classic Rankin and Bass animations from the 60s. So for a proof of concept, we decided to do a pitch video and then get our creative director and actually do the 3D animation of him pitching this video as a viable option for this end of the year reel. So we had him go into the audio booth, read the script, and then from there, we had our 3D animators replicate his likeness. Oh, I loved the concept. I thought that it was going to be a fantastic project to work on. There is something just so nostalgic and so romantic about that old style stop motion animation that I think that captivates everybody's interest. The animation in Rankin and Bass actually was very herky-jerky and, and uh, it's not as smooth and polished as some of the stop motion animation we see today. And we didn't exactly want to match that verbatim, so we took some liberties and, and pushed it further into a polished direction. So the motion was a little bit more smooth than their actual films. I think that everybody would recognize that particular style. It's so specific and uh, is so recognizable. Once the script was completely approved, or at least it was really close to being approved, the first phase was creating an animatic. The purpose of an animatic is to give us a rough idea of what the general story is going to be, how the shots are going to be laid out, how long the shots are going to be, what the action is going to be, how one shot leads to another. Trying to interpret someone's likeness and trying to animate it so that it looked like that it was a stop motion video. Sometimes that can be a little bit of a challenge. Because it was done by hand, there was very specific imperfections that were carried through the entire Rankin and Bass style. So it's when someone paints a tiny building, you can see the brush strokes. So we've made sure that when we modeled and textured the building that we were able to see the brush strokes and maybe a fingerprint in the clay. My favorite moment in the animation is the tattoo arm. It, it makes me laugh every time. I love the fact that then John Martin walks by and says, Sweet tattoo, bro. Hey, thanks, man. Most Turner employees know the legend of the fact that John has a sleeve of tats. For this spot, I think the, the Shaq and Lenny shots in particular were some of the funniest. Oh, yeah. We good? When I saw it come together, I was really proud of the team. I was really proud of those guys. Wow. For some scenes, I, I shot reference footage of some of the, like, especially this rapping sequence, where it was made to kind of in the style of the Beastie Boys, so I had to shoot myself and some, uh, somebody else trying to do all the moves. Uh, that footage will never see the light of day. <laughs> I burned the phone, <laughs> so. <laughs> You're asking me to say that no, or him? No, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> 